psychologists Claire Adams and Mark Leary invited 84 young dieting women into the laboratory and encouraged them to eat donuts and candy. The question on their minds was, would they be less indulged if people didn't feel guilty about it? They told the women that they would be participating into different studies, the effect of food on a person's mood, and another which was a taste test of several different candies. To find the answer, they separated these dieting women into two groups. Then they attempted to make one of the groups feel better about skipping on their diets, while allowing the other group to feel guilty about it. Then they would measure which group indulged in more donuts and candy. In the first study, each woman was asked to choose between a chocolate or donut and finish it within four minutes. Then they were instructed to wash it down with a full glass of water. These would make each woman feel guilty. Before the second study, the Feel Better group received a message to help relieve their guilt. The message stated, sometimes participants feel guilty about eating a whole donut, but you shouldn't be too hard on yourself about it. Remember that everyone indulges sometimes. The Feel Guilty group didn't receive any message and was left to their own thoughts and feelings. Then the experimenter gave both groups three large bowls of candy and asked each woman to sample each candy, then rate it. They were encouraged to eat as many candies as they'd like in order to achieve a definite rating. As a result, the woman who received the Feel Better message ate about 28 grams of the candy compared to almost 70 grams eaten by the women who were left to feel guilty. We often think that feeling guilty is the energy to correct our mistakes. But for people with weak self-regulation, this rather makes them fall into a vicious cycle. In other words, they feel guilty and at the same time feel bad, giving in to greater temptation. The goal and life are not to go our way. Everyone makes mistakes, learns from them, and moves forward. Forgive yourself for making a mistake. Just as we comfort and encourage a friend who made a mistake, treating you like a friend who is discouraged by a mistake will strengthen your self-regulation.